In this video, we're going to explore how many simple graphs there are with one, two, and three labeled vertices. Now, because we are labeling them, okay, so we'll have, if we've got three vertices, we'll have A, B, and C. Um, a is different to B, which is different to C, and so on. Okay, so they're all meant to be different places or different web pages. Um, if we don't have them labeled, then there are fewer. And I'll leave that up to the viewer to have a think about which ones uh, would be the same or represent the same thing if they are unlabeled. And so you might want to um, look ahead to what we mean by isomorphic in that case. Um, but uh, let's take a look at this. So if there is just one vertex, then there we are. That's it. OK, now it's, we can't have any loops because the graph is simple. OK, so that's all we can do with one vertex. Now, if you want to think of them just as labeled, you can go, well, there's A, right? That could represent A. So, two vertices. So, let's have A and B. OK, so there we are. A and B are connected. OK, so that's one way. But simple graphs don't have to be connected. They can also be disconnected. So a second option is just A and B disconnected. Like that. Let me just relevel this because uh, so I've got the letters above the vertices there. Okay, that makes it a little look a little bit neater. So we can either have this situation where they're connected, or we can have this situation where they're disconnected. Okay, so there are two possibilities for two vertices. How about three vertices? So here we've got. A, B, and C. So we could have them all connected to one another, like that. And of course, remember, we can't have multiple edges. So we couldn't, we couldn't have had that, for example, because the graph needs to be simple. Simple means no loops, no multiple edges. So that's one option. Or we could have A is connected to B and A is connected to C. But B is not connected to C. Or directly connected to C, I should say. Or we could have this. Or we could have this. Or we could have that. So that's now disconnected, OK, in this case, because C is not connected to either A or B. Or we could have that one. Or we could have that one. Or none of them are connected to one another. And so actually there are eight different ones that you could have for three vertices. Now I'm going to leave it up to you to extend that to four vertices if you want a bit more of a challenge, okay? Um, but also consider what, is, what would be the situation if they were unlabeled. Be and I'll give you a hint because if they're unlabeled and you're just looking at these three here, okay, and let's say I connect them that way. If you rearrange them, okay, you rotate this round, well, if I just rotate it round, okay, what I could get is instead this one is connected to this one, and this one is connected to this one. So actually, if they are unlabeled, these two can represent exactly the same thing. They are isomorphic to one another. Okay? As we will see a little bit later on, I will go through what isomorphic really means in general. Um, 
but it's a little bit of a puzzle for you to play around with.